Shots rang out at a west side uh, gas station this morning in Jacksonville, sending a clerk to the hospital. We're told that clerk is stable at this hour. Police are looking for the suspected gunman seen here in these new images just released by the sheriff's office. This happened at the gate gas station on Collins Road around three this morning. Our Rich Donnelly has been on scene all day. He's joining us now with what he's learned and Rich. What are people saying about crime in that particular area? Well, Anthony, we can say that people we spoke with say that they moved to this area to get away from violence elsewhere in Jacksonville. And news of today's shooting was upsetting to some people, but we are told that the employee who was shot is expected to be okay. Before dawn, the gate gas station was the scene of an investigation as the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office searched for evidence after an attempted robbery around 3 a.m. As the employee used to placing money into a bag, the suspect fired several shots in the direction, striking one of the employees in the arm several times. Part of a statement from Gate reads, quote, We are deeply saddened that one of our family members was a victim of a senseless crime early this morning. As our employee continues to receive medical care, we are in prayer for him and his loved ones. The gate on Collins Road was closed for nearly nine hours while JSO investigated, and a company was brought in to clean up the crime scene. This shooting and attempted robbery was the latest in a string of crimes throughout this part of Jacksonville. According to JSO crime mapping data, there have been 27 reported crimes within a two mile radius of this gate gas station just within the past week. Four of the cases were assault or battery. Eight of them were reports of stolen vehicles. I thought it was a good area and stuff. Jenna Stewart moved to the area from near Sutel Drive two months ago to get away from violence in her previous neighborhood. Surprising and very disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm really confused at this point where I should move to. Aisha Ramirez lives nearby on Collins Road and said she's noticed an uptick in crime over the past six months. It's gotten bad to the point where I don't I pick my kids up from the front of the bus stop. I no longer let them walk alone. JSO said that they have limited suspect information at this time, but they are looking for a man who was last seen wearing a burgundy hoodie who fled the scene after the shooting. They said security cameras didn't get a great look at the suspect's face. If you do happen to know anything about this shooting, you are asked to please call JSO or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live on Jacksonville's west side, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.